Hey traders, Mike Katz with 7 Points Capital on this Friday bringing you today's trader takeaways. So DCIX, if you woke up this morning, you punched up DCIX like, oh man, what's going on here? This thing by the open was up almost 200%. It tripled, which was absolutely insane. So this, these shippers are moving again. I want to spend a few minutes just going over what we did here in DCIX. Some good trades and um, ones that should probably present themselves over and over in these low floaters. So this one was a former runner from a couple months ago, about a month ago, I'd say. Uh, not even, what is it, like two weeks ago? And we had a pop from $2 all the way to 28 and then this thing very quickly came back down to 6 So I pretty much thought this thing was done. Probably, you know, when it was 15 I was shorting it and holding. And I just covered at 10 and couldn't get more of a borrow. I had to cover below 10 And I was like, all right, too bad. I'm going to miss out on the next $5, $10 when it goes back to 2 So I wasn't expecting this move up, but this morning when... This thing, I, look, I punched it up and I look at the top movers and this, this was already up 100% here at $12. I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? So these things can be very vicious to the upside, right? Um, looks like it had earnings. They only lost about $128 per share. And it's, what, a $7 stock. So they only lost $128 a share. Quality company here. Um, up 100% uh, when I come in. And I see what's going on here, 8, 8.30 in the morning. and But this thing is still strong, still on the front side of the move, making a higher high, higher low. And I know it's trash, right? But I don't want to get in the way and get caught up on, on, you know, on the short side if this thing is just going to rip everybody's face off and go to $30. And it's done that before. So in the morning, I was thinking, you can see these lines here, I'm drawing support and, I'm, and resistance. And I'm saying to myself, okay, if... Um, if it wants to go up, I'll try to participate on the long side. And then eventually I want to try to capture the short side of this thing. So let's zoom in a little bit to the morning. We see that it comes up, makes a flag, goes sideways, goes up again, pulls back, holds $11 right here, and, and comes back up. And I start getting involved right around here as it's curling up. And the big involved the big position came here and here so this was resistance we get above it over here we come back and on the retest now at about 1250 this thing bottoms out right where resistance turns into support so buy some here sell some out there at a double top buy back what I bought here again at support and then the market opens and this thing is off to the races blows right through $14 and I ended up selling some $14.90 uh, a little bit, $15.90 and $16.50 I sold uh, a decent amount, right? So then I'm thinking, here, let's zoom in just to the morning and see what info we had at hand. So right here, it's going up. I already scaled out. I'm thinking, all right, if there's a dip and a pullback to $14, right, this resistance, which is now support, I'd like to buy some back. And we do get a pullback. I didn't get the first dip, but I got the second dip and uh, got some 14s, buys off, and then curls up again. So I trim a uh, tiny bit here at mid 15s but not enough because I'm really thinking this thing gets back up to 17 and maybe even $20 so this thing starts to go sideways instead of bumping up making lower low lower high and when it breaks VWAP and holds below that was it, it breaks the support I'm saying to myself I'm done with it right so made some money from here up there gave some money back here as it starts to go lower but I'm green on the, on the symbol, right? So now I'm just thinking to myself, where can I get involved if this is now putting in the backside, if this is toppy, where can I get involved to put a short on? And right here, it starts showing if this is the lower, lower high versus this, then it's looking like a descending triangle. And we scroll to the right, and that's what exactly it starts being, right? Let's remove this guy, draw it a little bit better. And you can see that it's starting to make lower highs versus this 1250 level. And 
that sets up for a nice short. Breaks down, good entry, and boom. Very nice entry right here. Descending triangle, get involved. Never gave me my retest. Like this would have been my A plus setup if it came back up here now, retested this resistance. I would have sized in pretty heavy over here versus here, but never gave that push up. So it was just a matter of, you know, letting it keep going with the uh, remaining position. I scaled some out here, some out here, and uh, I was pretty much done with it right around 10 bucks right here. Started getting sideways. I said, all right, I'm done with it. And then towards the close, we got another setup for potential uh, lower high I got involved here at about nine dollars versus here risking about 30 cents so I was able to get decent size and then when it comes in cover some didn't add back as it's close to the um, close and scaled out of rest and then got another push in the last few minutes but so overall DCIX was a good one the key was in the morning to stay out of its way if it's ripping up because these things can really go and then once it shows that it's topping out and um, stalling out making lower highs lower lows join in on the short side join trend and these things can go down pretty quickly so the key was just not to try to pick a top in this because I'll never be able to get a top in this I'll just get run over and get hurt but once it shows that it's tired, making lower highs, lower lows, it's gave me a descending triangle, boom, time to get in. Let's participate and make that money. So nice job today in DCIX. Excited for the weekend. Get some rest, read some books, enjoy the weekend with the family, and looking forward to next week. Thank you guys for watching.